Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7 Online. Today we are in the Forza GT Endurance Hopper and I had quite a rough day of it. I had a couple of races that were basically ended immediately and I couldn't be bothered to finish them like the other week. Uh, one of them was VIR, one of the long circuits. A while ago I made a video on trackside keep and remove from Forza. I've removed the IR entirely from uh, actually playing it again. Um, so this race again I got ruined into turn two um, which is less than one of the races so we're still going to make up positions. Those like people formed a car park lot. Um, I can't say parking lot and car park at the same time. You can see it does not want to brake at all anymore. It wants to pull to one side the Maserati. Uh, I chose the Maserati here because this track's generally dominated by top end. Um, and I think by the end of the race, uh, I had actually started to reel in the leaders. Um, but I just couldn't off that bad start and I think to pit on that one. Then you've got to fight through the pack. So we had VIR um, was one of the races I didn't do, or I did like half of and I spun out. I was in no man's land, spun out and it's like what's the point. I remember to turn off sim steering um, just in case I had damage. So lap 6 we caught up to this guy um, and we're going to take a little switch back when he tries to push me off um, without succeeding too much and he didn't actually ram me, which was fortunate. A few laps later, I'm not too sure what happened between these two guys, but one of them quit, and the other one was slow. Um, so I've obviously done my lap, I'm a pit stop on lap one, and we're quite a way off the leads at the minute. They were still gaining on me at this point, <coughs> but it was the very final laps where I was able to really eat into the lead um, and then I kept making mistakes as well but if I'd been consistent and I think that's my biggest issue in all of these uh, GT cars in both Forza and Gran Turismo not too sure why there was a guy parked there um, is I'm not as used to driving these sort of cars that have quite a lot of power compared to what I'm generally driving um, but they also handle really well um, it's like I don't really expect it uh, certainly group 4 um, oh I forgot to actually include the end of that race I think I finished 5th um, and then we went to Suzuka and I got ruined on that one and uh, I changed lobby and ended up at Indianapolis and that I started from very back uh, we're going to look around the outside at turn 1 we make a couple of positions uh, I think one guy might have not started so um, we're going to see what happens through here we get sort of hemmed in behind that Lamborghini and it is the layout of Indy that I like um, and I wasn't too sure, I just thought I'd go with the Bentley because it's the livery I made. Um, and here, getting a really wide entry, um, that is not the line you want to be taking. Someone turning to the side of me down the straight, which doesn't really help, uh, it doesn't make either of you go quicker. So into the braking zone, this is where that weird curb is. Um, when the curb sort of there sort of isn't. By lap two we caught up to these guys. That guy in the Porsche, he was the guy who wrecked me in one of the races. Um, so yeah, not really wanting to go wheel to wheel with him, but sort of happened to, to get that position. Um, and as you can imagine, he wasn't too happy that he lost a position, because he's that sort of person. Or at least I'm guessing. Um, maybe he was just having a bad day but yeah so in the rearview mirrors we're going to get on the brakes at the right point I don't know if that was attempted ram or he just forgot to brake 
Um, but yeah, we the only positions we made up were through pit stops, we ended up fifth. I was in second at one point because of other people pitting, nearly pitting that wall on the inside. And that's where this video would have ended, and I, when I came to edit it, so I moved up to fourth, I don't know how. When I came to edit it, I uh, realised that it was a really short video. So then we move over to the evening session I did, um, there were two races in the evening as well. So initial launch was okay and then we get sort of ruined. Um, I don't know why I picked this car for Suzuka West. Um, here I just didn't know where he was going with the lag, I don't think I damaged him. Um, but I, I was trying not to hit him and here I was trying to stay in the ghost as long as I could because uh, I knew that it was going to be a hellhole. Um, so we've got a guy on the outside, a guy on the inside, and they're trying to both turn across. Um, that guy, he's going to run it a little bit wide, you know, showing the runoff, uh, just to try and get away from people. Um, little slide through there and round the hairpin. I don't like that hairpin generally. And then we're up behind a, another 2013 Viper. Um, so he, he sort of shepherds the M3 out of the way um, and I just follow him through uh, and then we get boxed in. I'm not too sure what happens, the Porsche tries to turn across and yeah it was a sort of an awkward moment, he shouldn't have been looking for that move um, but he did and I follow the Viper Y and break a little bit too late and unfortunately he goes through and I run it a little bit wide so I can't even make up any time on them um, so here eventually the Porsche pushes off the Viper which is to be expected and then pits um, so starting lap 4 in 4th position which isn't too bad and here again I managed to eat that tyre wall for the second time I'm using reverse gear in this race uh, or racing gear depending on how, how knowledgeable you are um, this is just to show how short this pit lane is it's like 12 seconds or 14 um, so yeah I boosted all the way down there have a little bit of a wiggle and uh, find that bit of grass yet again uh, eventually we finished fourth we were gaining on third place quite heavily um, but yeah so there I voted Spa I normally cut that out so it sort of doesn't spoil the next track um, so this tune is actually for Spa so I stayed in the same car um, don't tell me or do not ask me why I decided that a car built for Spa would be good at Suzuka West but it sort of worked for me so I'm not going to complain um, so we're going to get away in fourth, and we're going to have a decent run. Um, I wouldn't say it's horrendous. We throw Rouge, trying to keep it in the lines, and someone didn't want to. So taking a Rouge and on sideways, and the Audi sending someone else sideways. So I've lost a load of speed here, um, unfortunately. And we're going to just see what happens. A little bit of lag on that Corvette, I think, um, which is always off putting. So, here, taking a little bit too much of that. It's just getting used to this car around this track because, as far as a track, I generally like. Um, I'm going to get a cutback on those two people there. And we thought about it on. Is that the Porsche? Um, but I followed them wide, so we're not going to make the move there. And yeah, Audi running it wide, not the best exit through No Name. So through into Puon, those two are sort of going to get caught up on each other. I sort of get caught on the grass and can't capitalise. Uh, and then someone's on the outside, and that awkwardly turns me into the runoff. Fortunately they backed out and let me get control, which is nice of them. 
most people just try and power through like the guy did at Oru. So yeah, down to this sector, these are probably my weakest corners on the track of this sector from the bottom or the end of the on. Uh, corner after that through to the run onto Blanchemont. I think through Blanchemont I am quite strong normally. But we bleed positions here from the core exit. And we're going to see if Blanchemont is flat. I didn't expect it to be, so I did break quite hard. And running it just inside the limits there. So it's it's doable. Um, and here I decide I don't want to be a part of this. I'm going to make a dive into the pits, as does that Lamborghini. And we leapfrogged him in the pit lane somehow. I don't know how. I guess maybe he had a poor run. Um, I thought the car would break and make me wait for him to get up to speed, but didn't. So we pass an M8 here. He sort of turns into me. And I'm just going to cover off there. He was never going to get through. He just pushed me. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't lose control. This Audi was really slow. And I'm not too sure why. Maybe it's just they're not the most comfortable driver at Spa. I mean, Ford's a huge ability range, and I don't think I'm anywhere near the top. Um, yeah, maybe this guy's new to the game. So it didn't seem that I was gaining like just some straights. This guy tries to block me off, which is really annoying. Um, and yeah. Unfortunately that Porsche goes through, he was incredibly quick. I, I lapped him at Suzuka and he came back through me and then he crashed into the wall. Um, he came back through again, so I was never going to keep him behind. That Audi, we just managed to go around the outside. Uh, we came out behind that Bentley. Um, then we've got an M3 here again, not Bentley, that Aston Martin came out just in front of us from the pits. And you can see he sort of gapped us, and this guy in the M3 doesn't help. So through here, I wanted to go quicker than that. I knew I could. Uh, it's just he wasn't letting me. I was trying to go around the outside, and he decided that he wanted to turn across. So unfortunately, we're going to run it deep into the bus stop and get another poor exit. And he's got about three seconds, and that gap stays sort of constant. Uh, until this very final lap, this is going to be the final part of the video. It's just showing how, one, how when I get comfortable with a car, I can actually be good. It just takes me a long time to get a car on a track like used to each other. Um, and I think that's, that's something I struggle with. And then I get to the point where I get too comfortable. Um, so today. So it's Monday that I'm recording this time. Monday's off for me, unfortunately. I was doing Group 2 at Brands Hatch in uh, Brands Rispo Sports. And I got to the point where I got too comfortable. I was setting purple sectors. I was de-rated in Brands Rispo Sport. I was in a lobby with a couple of A people, mostly B, and one other deep-rated deep person. Um, I started without qualifying, so I started 18th out of 18. End of lap 1, I was up in about 9th. End of lap 7, I was in 4th. Um, mostly down to just driving within myself. And then the tyres started to go off, and I pitted a lap too late. And I made so many mistakes on lap number 9, so I hadn't pitted. Um, yeah which is something I really need to work on, getting like driving within myself. I need to drive on the edge immediately. I can't have too much time like wasted warming up and too much time being overconfident making mistakes. Uh, I need to find a middle ground. I need to find how to keep that throughout a race, like the whole thing. Um, I guess it's I just need more practice in this class. It's not that often that I drive it for fun, uh, just because the races are really long and you can get destroyed. Um, I do enjoy it when it goes well. So we do really pull in on the Aston, but the thing is if I'd kept that from the very first lap, I'd be doing well. 
So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you in the next one. And bye for now.